In this video, I'm going to share with you tricks and tips that I've developed with patients over the last decade and a half to help you up your game and remember to take your medicines. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Hey. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. Taking pills can be annoying at best, and oftentimes folks can forget or get confused. I've seen situations where someone takes a stimulant intended for the morning by accident in the evening, and for two weeks they can't sleep and their cycle gets all upside down. Over the years in working with families impacted by MS, I have developed some best practices, some tricks and tips to help you make sure that we're doing the best we can at remembering our medicines. And that's what I wanna talk about in this video. So let's jump in. Let's start off on the right foot by dedicating a secure and private space in our house for our pill bottles. I would not recommend putting different pill bottles in different locations in the house, and I would not recommend different family members keeping their pill bottles in the same location. I recommend that you have a private secure place like in your bathroom, maybe in a drawer, which is only used for your pill bottles. And that would be the location, so we never have to wonder where the pills are. They're always there. As pills expire, get rid of them. Get the bottles and the pills out of the area where you keep all your active medicines because they can get muddled up and sometimes by accident we can grab the wrong bottle. I mean, let's face it, medicines have really weird names. Step two is to take a Sharpie and write down on the pill bottle top or on the side one word to remind yourself what the medicine's for. So heart, blood pressure, asthma, nausea. That way, if you have to rifle through the medicines, you can at a glance remember what that bottle's for. Look who came to say hi. Hi, baby girl. River, you wanna say hi to the internet? Say howdy hi. Good girl. Okay, lay down. Next, I would recommend purchasing a plastic pill box that has lids with little spaces for multiple times a day across the entire week. I think it's a best practice if at the beginning of your week, you sit down with a loved one and you load up all your medicines for the week. So for example, if you take a blood pressure medicine in the morning and the evening, you put a pill in the morning box and a pill in the evening box for the whole week. You can pick up all kinds of different boxes of shapes and sizes at the pharmacy or or at the supermarket. This is very helpful because during the course of the day, if you don't remember whether or not you've taken a medicine, you can go to the pill box and if the container for that time is empty, you took it. And if there's still pills in it, you didn't take it. There's an added advantage to this because you're reaching into the pill bottle once a week, you'll notice when it's starting to get low and it'll help jog your memory. Hey, this is something I need to call in for a refill. Talking about when you take your medicines, it's really helpful if you can time lock something you do every morning to your morning medicines. For example, if you have a lifestyle of brushing your teeth every morning, which I hope you do, then you could tether, I brush my teeth, I take my pills. And if you tether them together, it's a reminder. Now, this next suggestion sounds like a joke, except it actually works very, very well. Some people, they still forget to take their morning meds. I recommend they take a pill bottle and they literally duct tape it to their toothbrush and they put their morning meds in it. So when they pick up their toothbrush, it rattles and that reminds them, hey, I should take my pills in the morning. Hey, real quick before we go on, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Those two actions teach the YouTube algorithm that you dig the content and push it out so more people impacted by MS can benefit. Thank you. You don't have multiple sclerosis by yourself. You have it with your village. And those village members can help you remember to take your medicines. For example, you may live with people who are also taking morning medicines. And in the morning you can say, hey, I remember, did you? A quick one sentence reminder with family members can help you remember to take your meds. Literally, you could do the same thing in the afternoon if you have a friend you sit next to and you both take afternoon meds. Why not have our village help remind us? Now, oftentimes we can take our morning pills and our evening pills at home. But if you have to take pills in the middle of the day, a lot of folks are at work or at school or they're out of the house. We might want to have a contingency plan. What I do in that instance is I have a separate pill case that I bring to work and it's got pills in it that I need in the middle of the day. 
This way I don't run into a situation where I'm trying to bring bottles back and forth to different locations. And doctors are generally very good at handing out prescriptions of medicines. We're less good about taking them away. And over time, you can end up on a bunch of pills. I challenge you that each time you go to the doctor, ask them, are there any medicines that we can reduce? Are there any medicines that we can stop? And are there any medicines that we could change so instead of taking it twice a day, I only take it once a day? The most impactful way that you can support this channel is by watching another video. So if you wanna up your game, click the video that's on your screen right now. Until my next Monday morning video, or my next monthly live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.